Welcome to the session on isometric projections. Now in this chapter, let us try to draw, understand how to draw the isometric projections of the various models that will be given or with respect to the text that will be given in the questions. Before starting going into the isometric projections, let us understand what is meant by isometric scale. How to draw the, let me teach you how to draw the isometric scale. This is very important to get the isometric projections of any of the models given. First, you draw an horizontal line OA at any one side of the sheet, preferably at the top right hand corner. Then draw a 45 degree line OB which will be where you are going to mark the actual scale either in centimeters or in millimeters. Now you are going to draw another line called as isometric scale which makes an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal OA. This is the where you are going to mark the actual length. This is where you are going to get the isometric length. Now, mark the actual centimeters or along the length of the line in terms of either centimeters or millimeters. So, now you have marked it 0 to 10 centimeters all along the length of the actual scale along that 45 degree line. From here, you drop the verticals to cut the isometric scale. You can see the vertical drops. You are going to mark this distances as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash up to 10 dash. Normally, these distances when it is measured or calculated analytically, it will be point 816 times of the actual length and this is the easiest way of getting the isometric distances which is very important to draw the isometric projection that's all about welcome to the session on projection of isometric projection of a cylinder which is having a diameter of 50 mm and base and height equal to 65 mm. Now here in this case always we have to draw the isometric scale first. From the isometric scale we are going to draw the views. Let us draw first a cylinder a circular base of diameter of 50 mm which is of true length. Then get the height of the cylinder you mark this height equal to 65 mm. To draw the isometric projection you need to construct a square uh, isometric lines this P Q, P S, R S, Q R all these are the isometric line. So, to get the isometric line first so, draw a square equal to the size of the diameter. So, this has to be constructed. From this data, isometric lines, we are going to construct the circle by four center method, which has been explained in my earlier video. So, first draw x y line, draw the sides p q and p s by making an angle. 30 degree with this x y line. Then draw complete this sides other sides of the square. So, you get the point r. Now, this circle will be drawn to a isometric length all measurements will be taken whatever we have plotted here are measured with respect to the isometric scale not equal to true length 50 mm. 
If it is drawn to a true length 50 mm, we call that drawing as an isometric view or isometric drawing. So, if you want to call it as an isometric projection, you please mark this length equal to iso length. Iso length is equal to 0.816 times of the actual length. Now, next mark the diagonals, draw the diagonals, mark the centers of the sides, name it, say A, B, C, D. Now, consider the shortest diagonal. In this shortest diagonal is P R, the longest diagonal is S Q. Consider the shortest diagonal with P as center, P C or P B as a radius, you draw an arc. This is a four center method. Now, with R as center, with R as center, R D or R A as a radius, draw an arc. The intersection points here will give the O1 and O2, the other two centers. First center was this one, second center, third center, fourth center. Therefore, this is called as a four center method and this has been very well explained in the earlier video. Now, with O1 as center, OC as radius or OD as radius, you draw an arc. Next, with O2 as center, O2B as radius or O2A as radius, you draw this arc to complete the square, the, sorry, to get the circle. Now, this is the original circle. In the isometric view, it looks like an ellipse. This is how you are going to construct the ellipse. Now, to get the height and to mark the top surface, whatever we have drawn here, is the bottom surface of the cylinder. We have to draw the top surface. So, you have to mark the height, mark the height of the axis equal to 65 mm and also erect verticals from all the corners. You are writing this axis, height of the axis equal to 65 mm from the center and at the same time, you are going to erect the lines from all the corners. Now, complete the square there at the top. Mark it as either P1, P2, Q1, R1, S1 or the same name, no problem. Top surface. Now, mark the center diagonals, draw the diagonals. Mark the centers of the sides of a square, name it. As explained here, the same procedure is be, will be adopted here in the top surface also with P as center, P C as radius and Q as center and Q D A as radius, you are going to draw the arc. You can observe it. Yes, you count the longest arcs. With this centers O1 and O2, we can draw the other arcs with O1 as center, O C as radius, you can draw an arc C D with O2 as center, B A as radius, uh, O2 B as radius, you can draw an arc B C. This completes the top surface. Now, when to get the sides of the cylinder, drop the end generator or tangential line touching these two circles. This is a tangential line that has been drawn from the ends of this circle to get the side of the cylinder. Now, if you observe this, this is the inner part of the cylinder which cannot be seen. So, you can mark it, no need to mark this line at all, you can erase it out. But normally in the drawing, we are not going to erase it out. We are going to differentiate this with thick and thin lines. So, this is the one which can be seen, this arc, mark it with thick line and this one with the dashes can be shown. So, I am showing it with a dotted line. From year to year also it is dotted line. From here it is thick line. You can draw the thick line here. 
this is the final view of the isometric view projection of the cylinder. Hope you understood the procedure of constructing the cylinder in isometric view. Hope you understood this. If you like it, please comment. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel, YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.